You see this right here? This is stuff that you guys have seen. This is nothing but a table right here. It's got columns and it's got rows. And on the top of those rows, it's got little headings. What this is, is data. This is data. That's all this is. This is data. Now there's not a lot of data here, but I didn't want to put a lot of data there because I just wanted you guys to see this. Now with these headings here, we put the headings on the top. Why do we do that? So that we can make sense of the, head, the, of the data, right? I mean, when we look at one, two, three, we don't know what that is. Or 20, 100, and 300. We don't know what that is. But when we see the heading up there, we say in stock. Oh, that must be the numbers that we've got in stock. So we have these headings. And we've got, and, there, and those, are, those are on top of all the columns. And then we've got these rows. In spreadsheets, they're called rows and columns. Each row would represent a record. In tables, when we're dealing with tables, in spreadsheets, these are called worksheets. When we're talking about databases, we're talking about a collection, not of worksheets, but it's a collection of tables. In Excel, they're worksheets. In tables, in, 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 in databases, they're tables. And within spreadsheets, in Excel, they are columns and they're rows. And in databases, they are called fields and records. Each row represents a record. Each row represents a collection of fields that are all related to this one record. And then the next record, the next row, is a collection of fields related to that record. And so on and so on until you're working for General Motors and you have 5 million of those records, right? But it all starts there with one record at a time. And all programs, I don't care how fast they are and how well they collect data, but they all read one record at a time. That's it. And so if you can read a record, process a record, and write a record, I propose that you can just about do everything within Power Apps.